try this again. I'm sorry about all these. Uh, this is a brief introduction to Bone Tracker. Bone Tracker is an Excel spreadsheet. It's a tool used predominantly by die shooters, but also by people who like to record their roles electronically as opposed to using pen and paper. But as you will see, there's so much more to, do, to it than that. The program has been developed by Power Axis, and you can find download links uh, on their website. Uh, there are two versions, Bone Tracker 64 and then the Bone Tracker with all combinations. Uh, the two files are different, one is 8 megabytes, the other one is 16, it's double the size. So let's take a quick look and see the important pages on this spreadsheet. Okay, so the first page you will be faced with is called uh, Raw Data. This is where you will put your die set on the top left and uh, then underneath uh, you're ready to go you just click here to enter rows. You will see that in the yellow uh, arrow just shown on the screen. What this will do is it's going to pop out a menu. Here it comes. Uh, this menu uh, this pop-out uh, menu has uh, 36 combinations, however dice can be rolled, and each one can be pressed, it's a button. What it does is it automatically feeds the toss results, which is the three columns at the top, at the top left, right, uh, uh, dice result, and the result has a total. You will see also that the toss counter is going to start from zero and then go up, and when it reaches the number 36, it's going to go red again, just to warn you that you can stop and take uh, stock of uh, your results. I think the next slide, uh, I'm just explaining that uh, there it is. So, yeah, if you press the 6-3, it's going to appear the top two columns with arrows next to them. The toss counter is going to start counting. And if you make a mistake, you just press remove last row and will undo the action of uh, recording the 6-3 so everything will go back to zero. Um, while you practice, you will notice that the toss count accumulates. Uh, for every 36 tosses the count turns to red. On different pages uh, of the spreadsheet, note that 36 results is a very poor indicator of your true expertise, while 1000 is a better indicator. A thousand rolls. So this is something that you should uh, uh, note. Now you could also notice that there are colors for results, the primary, secondary, double pitch, both dice of axis, left die of axis, right die of axis, and these are important. All right. On, on this page, uh, we call it toss statistics or toss stats. The first section on this is axis metrics. I personally use the foundation frequencies and standard deviation, which are always set to 2. This gives, this gives me an error rate of 4%, basically, if, uh, if, if I'm off uh, by 4%, which is unacceptable uh, risk in terms of uh, the maths that we do. Uh, the next section is going to be about box numbers and hardware statistics. I'm just uh, rushing through this. Uh, on this section, I only use expected percentages and the percentage of difference. Uh, I disregard the hard way statistics. There it is. You can see the two arrows uh, showing expected and percentage difference between the two. And then the last arrow and so on is for people who actually take on this proposition bed called hard ways, hard eight, hard four, hard six, hard ten. So. Uh, that's, you know, you can use it if you, if you wish to. Uh, there is an expected probability, it remains the same at 2.70%. So basically, it's uh, 1 over 36 chances to get one of those numbers. And uh, the payout is obviously uh, 30 to 1, which is not exactly, it's called like a 20% edge for the casino. So that's why I don't go for that kind of bet. Uh, the next section is about, uh, this is an interesting section, and it's got something called the chai test. The chai test is, um, um, 
is intended to test how likely it is that what you have thrown um, uh, is not due to chance or it is due to chance uh, as opposed to you being uh, an, a dice influencer. So basically it takes into account, uh, let's say in 20 rolls, did your dice land uh, facing you know, the same way you set them or things like that. So it actually goes into the mechanics. This is what we're talking about, mechanics. And uh, if you manage to have it as a dice influencer or something, you know, close to that, that's good. The next page is called Rolls Between Sevens, RBS. So basically every time you throw in a session, you might get 10 good uh, throws and then a seven, another six, and then another 10. And then you come to your 36, you press that button at the top and it will recalculate everything and tell you, well, you have two sessions of 10, one session of six, etc., etc. And it, it gives you a warning of when you should be taking your bets down, basically. So even if you think that you're good for 20 bets and you're going to power press, it's going to give you the truth. It's going to tell you, well, mate, you know, you're only good for an average of. And this is where the weighted RBS comes in. Okay, on the next page, uh, this is a, you know charts. It shows you different, four different types of charts. Uh, two, the three that I use are the ones in the, in the arrows, uh, toss results, which uh, have the greens as the ones that uh, you actually threw against the red, which is the distribution, how things should be looking, but how you're exceeding them in the green. And then the next one over there yeah, yeah, on the on the right. It shows you how you have overperformed or underperformed according, having as a baseline the standard distribution of results. Basically, you should have six sevens, but you only had one or two. So you're underperforming on the sevens, you're overperforming on the sixes, underperforming on the fives and fours. You can see how that goes. All right, and then we move on to. Uh, one of the best parts. This is the transpose page, and this is the basic transpose where it gives you your SRR, and then after that, it gives you alternative sets that are used by everybody the V sets, cross sixes, hardware set, etc. It's telling you how you would have done. And then it gives you six options to input your own other sets that you would have tried but didn't try during your roles and it will actually give you the results that you need. But that's not uh, you know, the most, uh, most interesting one. The, the next one is the actual, you know, the best uh, page of them all. And it's called either transpose 64 or transpose all combinations. In this case, it's transpose all combinations. The 64 one just has 64 dice combinations, dice sets. This one has the maximum 480 combinations and there are some people who say there are about 565 combinations 480 is good enough okay so it gives you the maximum SRR that that all these sets could uh, yield so you go down uh, the, 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 the row that has maximum SRR you find those SRRs and then you look up at the top and you see what what is that set then you look down and you say Okay, is it good for inside hits? Is it good for across hits? Is it... So you have priorities. So priority number one is always uh, stay alive, don't get the seven. So higher SRR. Priority number two is how do I put everything uh, in line with my strategy? Am I playing inside? Am I playing across? Am I playing ATS? Etc. Etc. So you can decide according to that. And then there's priority number three if you want specific sets to hit specific numbers. All right, this one, I don't really care much about, is the betting tool. It's a very basic betting tool. You can put your bets in the yellow cells and track how you're doing over the rolls. You don't adjust the bets. You can't change them because you, if you change them during the roll, it's going to adjust the whole thing from the beginning. So you just need to leave them as they are, check after a thousand rolls and see how am I doing? Am I making bank or am I bankrupt? So this is basically the, the betting tool that they have. It's very basic, but at the same time, very good. 
And then we go to dice two plus. This one is telling you this. Well, according to your throwing, you would have had an edge of X percentage over there, because you know if you place the six or the eight, six and eight, or place the five and nine, whatever, you would have had these edges. And then through the track results, it says if you place the six, you have a 38.4%, for example. If you place the, the, the eight, you're going to have a 9.3%. I can't read the, the numbers off by heart. But basically, this is what it's telling you. The edge that you would have on your strategy, on your bets or whatever, or it's actually giving you a strategy to play so that you align the way you throw with the numbers that you're bringing in. And this is where your advantage is. Now, this one, is saying to you something different. This is a dice tool which says, well, if you used this dice set, then your edge over the casino would be so much. So it's different information. I mean. um, for example, right here, I'm, I'm turning something like 3V set or something like that. But it's telling me, well, George, if you were using the hardware set, you would have an edge of, let's say, 68% as opposed to 20-something percent. So basically, it's giving you a lot of information, guys. It's for you, how you interpret everything together, how you prioritize things, uh, what strategy you set, when, when are you going to come down, uh, how many roles do you consider safe to either come down, regress, or you know, do anything else to keep your bankrupt secure. And that's that. That's uh, the bone tracker. It has a lot in it. Um, it takes a lot to actually learn everything, but hopefully you guys got the gist of it. So thank you very much for watching. This is George from CY. I hope this time sound was